Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. June 16th, all individual zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces, three cards, energies. Let's see what is in the store. And starting with our beloved Aries, welcome, loves. Let's see what we got for you. The first card we have Five of Cups. The next one we have the Tower and Justice. All right, loves. It seems here there's something here. Either you've seen it too, too late or there's something here you feel like you could prevent it. Whatsoever, the Tower very much comes in and tells you enough is enough go towards whatever you feel is right for you so whatever situation you are into aries this is not over the tower very much speaks that you are just at the beginning for whatever you are or whatever you are trying to whatsoever Whatever to leave behind, it's not that easy. Tower, Ten of Wands. There was something here that you've been carrying for way too long. Now it's time to be in a balanced energy or go towards balance. As well, for many, many of you who are going through a hard situation, know that by October, November, there will be... A beautiful outcome or the light at the, the end of the tunnel two of swords it's kind of like either you don't see it how that will be or how that will come but will be and of course will come my lovely Taurus let's see what we got for you my Taurus is two of swords Six of Wands and the Emperor. All right, Taurus, you are blocking someone or something and just moving forward. It's kind of like, I'm not going to look back. I'm not going that way whatsoever. I'm looking forward. The two of Swords very much speaks that whatever holds you back, you just don't take it anymore so here we are loves you are very strongly going into your power for some of you if you are separated from someone it's kind of like you stand in your power you don't allow them anymore into your life very much like you know i gotta do better and you are going to do way much better it's like a taurus here the month of August and the month of October will be quite strong and significant. So wait for that, loves, because you are about that. Five of Pentacles here. It's kind of like whoever made me feel this way will never do that again. So, and whoever holds you back, you're not allowing them. You know, sometimes. That's how it is. We got to stick with what feels and bless us. As well, we bless them. If our energy match, we continue the road. If our energy, energy doesn't, we are getting apart. And that's very strong for you, loves. My beautiful Gemini's. Let's see what we got for you. The first card, we have Ace of Wands. Ten of Swords and Five of Cups. All right, loves. For some of you, I see here a Gemini that regrets certain things they've done way too quick. Not even thinking. It, it's kind of like, let's say, if you have the opportunity to have a, a one-night stand and you did, now you regret it. Because that was just a fling and could be more. And 
for some of you just feel like, well, <clears throat> could be different if I will act different. And indeed here, loves, yes, sometimes what is too good to be true might need to be looked on a deeper level. Whatsoever, I feel here there is someone here and I gonna say it because you know me. For some of you, the one who you got along or who you hook up or who you done something quite quick, that could be, you know, a best friend and that friendship is out or one of the friends of your best friends, something like that. And indeed here, someone here regrets. Someone, it could be done that to you and they do regret it. Flip the energy if that doesn't speak to you. Two of Swords. Again, I don't know why Two of Swords here. Either was an emotional availability in the case or basically you didn't see their true colors. Because I feel here someone here had some kind of intention but were not the right ones. Cancerian. What do we have here for you, loves? Cancer. The first card we have, the Queen of Cups. I believe the cards are turned. Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, loves. Okay, okay. Look at here. The Queen of Cups is turned with the back of the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles at the same time. I'm not hurting anymore. I'm not going to stay being hurt. I can be confident and I can allow what I really want. Forward movement. Eight of Pentacles could be work-wise or could be in something here you invested. You know, learn your lesson. Because I feel here Eight of Pentacles here like I learned my lesson and I will go forward with what I really feel. Yes, there is here a Cancerian who did invest in something but feels like that investment didn't got through. You know, you can invest in a job, you can invest in a uh, career, you can invest in a person, in a relationship, in everything or, or whatever you did invest. Feel like that investment was not coming here. Whatsoever, you did not lost the time. You become way wiser and more experienced. It's kind of like this step is not killing me. Actually, is lifting me up. Learning to lift up, loves. Good job, Cancerians. Good job. And yes, three of wands in here. It's kind of you could assume something way more from someone who cannot fulfill that. It happens. Sometimes we we hope more for from someone or from something which they can't. If someone here just can provide you just like this, they cannot anymore. We try to get from them more. They anyway will give you that. Okay? Know that. Leo. Let's see, loves. What do we have for Leo's? The first card for Leo, two of wands. The next one, eight of swords. Page of wands. My Leo's tries to make a decision, but doesn't really know how to unless they will communicate with someone specific. For some of you, there's a person here. You, it's kind of either you need a, an approval of some kind or or just a hint for something. Whatever that is, you will get it, loves. Yeah. Because I feel here you, it's pending something. If you try to make a decision regards in a situation, the answer is coming. Okay? And it's coming quite quick. If you were looking for quite a while, or you've been waiting, or this was pending, it's coming. The answer... Or, you know, let's say you wait for a verdict or a response of some kind. The response is coming and feels like quite quick. 
two of cups going into something new or towards something new. Virgo, time for you loves. Let's see my Virgos, what they have at this time. Queen of Wands, Four of Cups and Knight of Cups. Okay. There's something here offered, but doesn't feel here this offer is something you're looking at. It's kind of comes, goes, whatever it is here. But whatever offer here, no, it's a good one. So whomever tries to offer you something, a water sign or a fire sign, this offer looks great. If there's someone here from your past and try to offer, it's something here they change their mind. But as this offer comes and is taken or not, will not stay for too long. It's kind of, it's an offer that expires. It's not like honey that never expires, but it's something which expires. So 10 of pentacles very much speaks that this offer might not be the best or whatever you're looking at, but probably it's worth to look deep on a deeper level. Yes, eight of pentacles. So Virgo, try to look on a deeper level. Some of you, you are offering to someone and someone needs to pay attention. Libra, time for you loves. So let's see what do we have for Libras. Fool, Four of Cups, and Moon. Okay, there is something here new that you, you might be afraid to take a leap either because of the past experiences, but Four of Cups very much gives you the new opportunity. But the new opportunity, the new thing comes when you are making peace with your past. But I feel here there's someone here who's like, yes, I'm going, but if will fail. Why are you going with the failure instead of why if that will work out beautiful? Clarify for the moon, queen of wands. Am I able? I will be in trouble. Not really. The way you see it, the way you get it. For some of you, this could be regards a fire sign. I see Aries. Could be someone who has in their moon a lot of fire. Could be you, loves. Could be the other person or the situation you are going into. Could be stable. Don't feel you can't look at or don't feel that you are not worthy because Eight of Swords speaks about I'm not seeing myself worthy or going forward or how to get it. Well, the opportunities are offered and if it's you who've been offered, that means you are the one who needs to receive it. Scorpius. Time for you, loves. Let's see. My Scorpios, what we got for you? The first card, we have King of Pentacles. The next one, we have the Judgment. And Eight of Cups. All right, loves. Somebody here feels that whatever they are right now in the moment doesn't fulfill them or they realize that what they do is not that what they want or who they with they don't want to be anymore eight of cups clarifier the high priestess i feel the need to do so so scorpios if you decide to move on from a situation could be with a virgo could be with a pisces or could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Piscean. If you emotionally don't feel great about it, your intuition tells you the right answer or gives you the right answer. For some of you, there is a position or a job you have and you don't feel great about. The aha moment, it's kind of, I wake up this morning and I don't feel just continue this way. 
and, I, and very, very quick, you will make the chance. It's kind of um, end of August, September, and that's, that's the answers way clear, like much clearer you will get it. And Three of Cups. Three of Cups very, very strongly speaks of I'm feeling great about what I'm doing. For some of you, if you didn't felt appreciated by someone, you will do the right thing. Your intuition speaks. Listen to it. Sagittarius, I welcome you, loves. Let's see. What do we have for our Sagittarius? The second day of the full moon. Ace of Wands on the horizon. Four of Swords. Good job, Ari. Sagis, I don't know, you might deal here with an Aries, but look at here. There is an offer here for you. And why I said good job, and I'm not sure why came Aries, but Four of Swords very much like, well, let me think about it. There's something here coming, but I feel here later on you will realize was the real thing. For some of you could be, you know, a fling with someone and you might realize in a few days that was nothing else, just a fling, just a flirtation or anything else. It's something here you are realizing or you will realize and it's just like, thank goodness I take my timing. For some of you, there's an offer of any kind, doesn't need to be a fling. Yes, feel very catchy, feels very awesome, you know, those kind of offers, we very hardly say no. But Four of Swords puts you to think, it is worth it or not. Let's see here, the tower clarification, what we got. Empress. Woo! And the tower and the Empress speaks that this were not growing. Also, for those of you who do have a fling, ladies, protect yourself. Might be an unwanted pregnancy here right away. So be careful who you let to be there where you are. Chariot and the Ten of Wands. Because something here is coming and might require quite a work. Okay, Capricorns, let's see what we got for you. My hard working souls, we have four of pentacles for you, seven of swords, and ace of pentacles. All right. All right, all right, Capricorns, there's something here, there's a person around you or someone who tries something. You know who they are, you know why they are. Whatsoever, whoever is this person, they just try to take advantage. It's kind of like run away from them as quick as you can. For some of you, you might have a person like this. For others of you, there's a situation here in regards with someone who comes in, goes out, wants to be with you, and then they realize they don't. And now, seeing them coming back, you hold back. It's like, no, 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 I'm not going to let you back in. I'm actually moving towards something new. Keep moving, loves. Seven of Swords, clarify. Five of Pentacles. They left once. How they made you feel, you know. Five of Pentacles very much speaks left out in the cold. Could be a family member or someone you had a family. I feel here there's something here could be also considered this person as a family. Doesn't need necessarily to be um, a love interest. Could be a family member that they come just ask you for money and they leave and they just use you like you know their own bank kind of a thing but i feel here like this time doesn't work mon cher it's 
senior. Aquarius. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we got for yourself. The 16th. Look at you. King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. And seven of wands. All right, loves. There's an offer on the horizon here for you, or you could offer to someone. The thing is, you need to stand up and you gotta have your own requirements. Seven of wands speaks, yes, I could resist whatever you offer because I feel I deserve more. For others of you, that sp speaks that I know what I want. If you offer me, then I can consider it. The Seven of Wands clarifier, it's Wheel of Fortune. I feel here you know what is at stake. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, you know this is coming. This offer or this given is coming and could be very beneficial for you in particular. So stand up, stay strong and fight for what is yours because my loves, you're about to hit the jackpot loves kind of a thing but stand up okay seven of swords it's on the back be very careful don't go too quick it's okay many times to look on a deeper level whatever it is so to be on your side something because sometimes going too quick too soon or you might not get the whole point and Pisces, welcome, welcome, and again, welcome. Pisces, the first card for you, we have King of Wands. The next one, we have Wheel of Fortune and Five of Cups. Look at here, the divine timing is telling you, Pisces, take action, leave a, move away from whatever you lived before. The past doesn't really need to stick with you. For some of you, there is a business or a family or even a connection. You still crying about it. The wheel, the divine time is telling you, now is the time, take action, do you. If you lost something, that loss actually made you stronger. See that part. Don't stick with what you don't want instead of going what you want. Very simple. I feel here there is something here you you could lost you you could want to be in a different way you know if was yours will be there hierophant go towards what is stable and that will be the best of the best and let's hear our collective what we got for you loves collective and probably today or tomorrow, probably today, I will post a few readings for the week coming, the third week, then of June. And as well, we'll do the other readings. I will try to post as much as I can as I work to so many projects at this time and try to reserve time and energy for each but today is the day when I will bring some energies for the weekly. All right, collective. Overarching, we have the hermit. Somebody here is on a deep looking of a situation or a thing. Ten of Wands, middle card, three of pentacles, full sun. Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, I might speak here with a Virgo, with a Gemini, an Aries, Leo, a Sag, or a Air Sign, most likely a Libra here. There's a renewal of energy here. For some of you but i feel here there's something here left behind somebody here gets that energy that okay now i'm confident to come forward even though i don't know what the answer even though i don't know what to expect i will come forward the nine of wands hierophant all about what makes st stable what 
how we are stable. The six of pentacles, king of swords. Yes, absolutely. The seven of cups, seven of wands, ten of wands. Of pentacles. Okay, so somebody here is done with their marriage or their commitment with someone. King and the Queen of Swords, done and over. It's a very coldish couple, but someone here, it's kind of, I try to take a leap of faith into something new. Whatsoever, whoever I'm speaking, might be this Knight of Wands, somebody who is single and who is a little like sketchy how so quick everything happened why but i feel here someone here have been through a separation for more than three years king of swords six of pentacles death yes a marriage a commitment of some sort is done and over okay the nine of wands and the hierophant four of cups somebody here feels like uh, I, I don't want to be married again and somebody here is confused. Yes. Somebody here, their marriage or commitment is done. One thing. The second thing is, whoever they are moving towards, they, they want love. They don't want marriage. Whatsoever, the one who they go towards, they do want love and marriage. And they now are quite confused. What do you really want from me? To win your love. Yes. Queen of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Alright. I feel here whoever is this one. They do love. This person or the other one. But it's not. For some of you, if you separate from someone, that person will try to come back to win you over. First, probably to be friends and then more than friends. It's like, yes, I love you, but I really enjoy my, my own life. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Yes, somebody here is kind of like, I don't want to step into the old stuff again absolutely yes somebody here changed probably quite a lot but might not feel like for the other person eight of swords so yeah i feel here that's a lot of back and forth here with someone the best advice here okay five of wands the best advice is to not listen to other people whatever people will say you are better than that to listen to them move on from them and again don't give them any power give the power to the healing and towards what you want because you will be quite surprised how many Couples are getting destroyed and their marriage as well just because they listen to others. If you are two, that two got to stay there, not the whole village. All right, loves. Blessings to all of you. And of course, if this resonates with you, let me know. I thank you so much for coming in and I'll see you next time. Namaste.